On November 26, 2024, Turkish Defense Minister Yasar Guler addressed the Planning and Budget Committee in the Turkish Parliament, raising the possibility of the United States reconsidering the sale of F-35 fighter jets to Turkey Air. This development comes after Turkey Air formally resubmitted its request to purchase 40 F-35s, as six jets ordered before its removal from the F-35 program in 2019 remain undelivered in the U.S. Turkey Air joined the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF program in 2002, committing to procure 100 F-35A variants. Turkish companies contributed over $1 billion to the aircraft's production. The first Turkish F-35A was completed in 2018, with deliveries scheduled to follow the training of Turkish pilots in the U.S. However, this partnership faltered in 2019 after Turkey Air acquired the Russian S-400 air defense system. The U.S. deemed the S-400 a security risk to the F-35 platform, leading to Turkey Air's removal from the program and reallocation of its aircraft to the U.S. Air Force. Despite its suspension, Turkey Air continued producing F-35 components under pre-existing contracts until 2022. However, the U.S. withheld reimbursement of the $1.4 billion Turkey Air had paid for the jets. While U.S. officials have suggested Turkey Air might rejoin the program if it abandons the S-400 system, Minister Guler clarified that Turkey Air has no intention of discarding the system, which remains inactive but operationally ready. Minister Guler linked the U.S.'s potential policy shift to Turkey Air's progress in developing the KAN, a fifth-generation fighter jet by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TUSA. Designed to replace aging F-16s, the KAN successfully completed its maiden flight in early 2024 and is projected to enter service in the 2030s. Turkey Air's defense strategy now balances the pursuit of U.S. F-35s with advancing domestic capabilities. In addition to the KAN, Turkey Air is modernizing its fighter fleet with 40 F-16 Block 70 Viper aircraft at an estimated cost of $6.5 to $7 billion. Turkey Air has also canceled plans to upgrade 79 older F-16s using U.S. kits, opting for the domestically driven ZGR modernization program. Meanwhile, efforts to diversify its fleet include negotiations for Eurofighter Typhoons, which have gained approval from relevant European parties following initial hesitancy. Turkey's 2017 acquisition of the ESC-400 system from Russia remains a central issue in its defense strategy and NATO relations. The U.S. imposed sanctions under the Countering America's Adversaries through Sanctions Act, COTSA, and the purchase strained Turkey's ties with NATO allies. However, Turkey maintains that the S-400s will operate independently from NATO's defense systems and are intended solely for high-level threats. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has reiterated Turkey's demand to recover the $1.4 billion invested in the F-35 program, either through jet deliveries or reimbursement. He has also defended the S-400 purchase as necessary after the U.S. declined to sell Patriot missile systems. Turkey's defense strategy extends beyond air power. The country plans to begin mass production of the Altai main battle tank by late 2025, while continuing to assert its maritime rights in the eastern Mediterranean and the Aegean. Minister Guler accused Greece of militarizing demilitarized zones, reaffirming Turkey's stance under international law. Meanwhile, Turkey's position within NATO remains a delicate balancing act. Its veto power has influenced critical decisions, including Sweden and Finland's NATO membership bids. As Turkey -S seeks to align its defense priorities with NATO commitments, its pursuit of F-35s underscores ongoing efforts to mend relations with the U.S. and enhance military capabilities. Turkey -S renewed bid for F-35s reflects its determination to strengthen its defense portfolio while navigating complex geopolitical dynamics. Whether these efforts lead to Turkey -S readmission into the F-35 program remains uncertain. The interplay of us turkey relations, Turkey's domestic defense advancements, and its broader strategic goals will shape the outcome of these discussions in the months ahead.